Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha. I love reviewing Indian eyeshadow palettes. I do a lot of those and I usually do a lot of multiple eye look videos but just giving myself a little break on that because I want to enjoy my palettes, the palettes I want to use for this month. And I thought it would be really fun, really fun but also maybe a little embarrassing because I have done a palette collection slash declutter and I declutter a lot of palettes but within my collection that I kept, I have a lot of palettes that I have not used at all. So some of these palettes I have swatched but I have not used them on my eyes yet. So I thought it would be fun just to show you guys all the different pretty palettes I have and also just to give them a little spotlight. I do plan on using a few palettes for this month. I'll let you guys know which palettes are those but yeah. You guys gotta let me know if you guys have any eyeshadow palettes that are just still sitting around waiting to be loved <laughs> because maybe this is your moment just to grab a palette that you have not used i'm just going to talk about what i'm wearing on my eyes because i've been getting questions sometimes if i don't review the palette then you guys always ask me but for today's eye look i just i'm wearing the bella beauty bar smoky glam palette and i do have an affiliate code with them and it's sashi so if you guys decide to use use it and buy anything from Bella Beauty Bar then it'll save you 10% off and also give it back to me so if you guys do decide to use it then thank you guys so much but the shades I'm wearing I love the purple so much so I'm using Hypnotic and I'm using Truffles, Love Bug and also Powder Puff for the mask and for the shimmers on the eyes if the shimmers on the eyes I'm using two different shimmers and that is Velvet Crush and Angel Eyes. So in case you guys want to recreate the look, it's nothing too complicated, it's just a very simple look, but it's just the shimmers are so pretty. And for a highlighter, I'm using the Electrum Cosmetics Daydreamer Highlighter Palette, and I'm using the shade Dream Chaser. It shifts to like a purple blue. So this one, um, there might still be a small pre-order, but I think it's probably sold out already. So she put up a small pre-order for the last one until next year. So that one's probably out. But if you guys are looking forward to that one, if you love shifty, uh, shiny, sparkly highlighters, then you'll love that one. I've been getting into like nude lip combos like, so much lately. So uh, I've been wearing this lip liner a lot. It's the More Cosmetics and it's a lip liner shade Caramel Beige. I want to pick up some more stuff from More Cosmetics because I love their lip products. And the lipstick I'm wearing is Milani Cosmetics. It's a, I think it's a matte lipstick or from the nude collection. This is in the shade... Tease. It's a shade Tease. It's such a pretty neutral shade. So that's what I'm wearing besides uh, the blush and everything. <laughs> that's a little bit extra. But if I remember, if you guys ask about it, then I'll try to answer. But that's the main stuff I want to just point out what I'm wearing on my on my face, my eyes. Okay. Well, anyways, let's get into the palettes that I have not used at all. So just like I said, I might have swatched a few of these palettes, but I have not played with them on my eyes. But they're kind of well, I put it in order <laughs> nah, uh, by the brand because I kind of have my palettes organized by brand when I took them out. So I'm going to start with this one and I know you guys are probably like yelling at me, what? Why haven't you used this one? Because this is so expensive. So I got this um, within the first month when this was released. So not on the first like launch, but I think the second launch. I was really sad that I missed out because I couldn't get it that time. So I was like, oh, thank goodness um, she put it up. And also it was like 20% off with the code, so I'm really grateful because without the code, this palette is like 150. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I did swipe quite a penny with that code, but this is the Dark Cosmetics Seahorse palette and it's such a beautiful, it's a full, um, full of shimmers of dual chromes and multi chromes. And look at this, it's so beautiful, so I really want to take pictures and capture this in videos because I also I also have an Instagram page. I love I love doing it all, guys. I love doing YouTube. I love doing Instagram, showing photos, reels. I love capturing all makeup. Um, well, specifically more eyeshadow palettes. That's like my favorite thing ever. But yeah, this is one of act. This is actually one of the palettes I do plan on using this month. I'm hoping if I could do a video on it. If not, then. Um, be sure to follow my Instagram page because I'll post there and show you guys my looks, especially on my story too, <laughs> because yeah, I definitely need to show you guys my looks for this one. It's these shimmers from what I've seen, they're very, very light, like they're not super shifted, so they're like iridescent kind of shimmers. So I can't wait to put it to test because 
I don't think I'll ever declutter this because it's so it's so pretty, guys. All right, so now I have I think two palettes from Bella Beauty Bar. So I have an affiliate code with them, like I mentioned earlier. But the first one is the Euphoric Dreams palette, and this one I have swatched. This is like a older palette from last year. It was released earlier last year, and I swatched it because I was just curious. You know, I like swatching it, but I have not played with this one. But from just swatching it, just very little. Like I didn't do deep swatches like I always do, but just to feel the shimmers, feel the mattes, it kind of feels a little bit updated. So I know they updated uh, their matte formula. It's so it's ultra luxe matte formula now. But this, it feels like it's not so pigmented the mattes, but the shimmers, they also seem a little bit lackluster comparing to their sh recent shimmers now because look at this. These shimmers are really sparkly from the Smoky Glam. So they really like up their game with their shimmers. But I want to play around with this um, probably next month. I'll, part of my goal for this year, because I know I had done a declutter about a month ago. Well, speaking of, I know I have a bunch of palettes I decluttered. I have not had time to put them up for sale. So I have a box full of palettes. I need to try to sell some or donate some but yeah anyways the next palette from Bella Beauty Bar this palette is the Poison Garden 2 palette and oh my gosh it's so pretty so I think I'll really love this one this one has some green blues and browns oh my god and some yellows that's a really beautiful palette I don't think I've swatched this one yet but I can't wait to play with this one probably next month because I already have a few palettes planned for this month all right, so it's a little mixed up, but let's go with this one. So this is another palette I've not used. I swatched it and I kept this one. So I have a few palettes here I kept from subscription boxes. So this is the Item Beauty in my Element palette, and it's just a neutral palette. The reason why I kept it because I really like the shimmers. Like I touched the shimmers and they were like really sparkly. So that's why it stayed in my collection. And yeah, hopefully I could use this sometime. This is the Ace Beauty. The Violet Sage palette, and this one was a, it was a, you know, I got this in subscription box. So these next few palettes, it's from subscription boxes. So I didn't keep so many from subscription boxes, but I kept this one because I love Ace Beauty Formula, and this color story is so cute. So it looks like this. I'm not swatched it yet because I was thinking I'm not sure if I'm gonna give this away or use it for myself, but. Yeah, it's still my collection. And then right here is the next palette. So I have two palettes from Threlusia Beauty. So I kept these two because the shimmers are so beautiful and I'm not using them. I have swatched it. The shimmers and a few mattes, I guess, in this one. This one is the Midnight the Sales. I was hoping this was magnetic because if it was, I would probably pull out the shimmers and just put it in a magnetic palette. But yeah, this is a fully neutral palette and the mirror is magnetic. So I think that's really cool. You can remove the mirror. So I... I love that. So yeah, it has a bunch of neutral colors. It has some browns and this mauvey pink and some oranges. So I think the neutrals are fine, but the shimmers are the star of the show in this one. And the other one I have is the La Flor de Mexico palette. And this one is like a green and brownish, orangey kind of palette. And the shimmers, they, they are not as like super, super like textured as this one, like very uh, reflected but these still look really nice like they don't look like your ordinary shimmers like just check the comparisons here's uh yeah these look more thicker yeah so i still have these two that i have to play with and then this one is by beauty bay it's the dark fantasy palette so i have swatched this palette like the whole palette because i took pictures last year and i did swatches but i never posted it but i have not done an eye look with this one yet so i still feel like I'm gonna keep this one in my collection because I really love the color store. It's very grungy and dark, dark fantasy. And I love the greens and purples in this and that silver right there. I love toppy silvers and the greens of course. So I can't wait to play with this one. I think for October it would be really nice for the spooky season. Alright, so now I have two Glamite palettes you guys. I have the Barbie palette. So these two palettes I have two from Glamite. I got them from Black Friday sale from last year, guys. I know, I'm horrible, but this is the Barbie palette. And I think you could get this in TJ Maxx and the Marshalls, and st if you could find it. And also this one I've seen, I haven't seen, but from other videos, when people share. But, oh, this one's such a very purple and blue heavy. And their shimmers, glamour shimmer, they're really nice. So 
So there's these type of shimmers. They look really like pretty sparkly, but not too much. I really like the color store. It's very deep. It has like some reds too. So I think that's really fun. And I think this one, I feel like I'm gonna love more. This one's gonna be more wearable for me. I love colorful palettes, but I love having light dark shades. So this one's very, very mid-tone. You guys could tell, like very mid-tone. You'll come up with like darker colors, darker looks with the, that palette. But this one, you have some pastels and some darker shades. And the shimmers, they don't look as super shimmery as that one, because I think this one's just a, it's an older palette. So I don't think I've swatched this palette, but look at this, it's so cute though, right? This one came with the box. It came with uh, this box right here. So I still keep it because I think it's cute. So I just have this on. has a display right here on my wall. Now next up. It's a ColourPop palette. And this one's the Alice in Wonderland palette. I only got it for the packaging. I do like the color story. So this is my third ColourPop palette. The other two I have, I have already used, of course. So those are the It's a Mood palette and the Aurora Strut. I love those two. But this one, it kind of reminds me of the Aurora Struck a little bit, but not as like super special. Ooh, I scratched it a little bit, but I scratched it with the plastic. But I think the packaging is so cute, so I love the details, and I think it's a cute little palette. I think this is magnetic, I think, so it looks like this. It's a nice wintry kind of palette, and also maybe like a Halloween palette too. So it looks, um, it has like some soft pastels, like some muted tones. I really like this silverish gold kind of shimmer. So you could do a lot of like like soft looks, but you could also make, do a lot of deep looks. So it's just a cute little palette. The next palette I have is uh, by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this one, I think this is my only ABH palette I have besides the Norvina palettes. I think I only kept one Norvina palette. But this one is the Rose Metals palette. And oh my gosh. I hope I love it. So whenever I get to this, I hope I love it. The shimmers do look nice. I think uh, the on the New York palette, the Cosmos, the shimmers in that one looks so beautiful. But I hope I love this one enough to keep because, yeah, it's like a, it looks like a nice wearable palette, but the shimmers, they look really nice. So I hope I like it. It also leans a little bit like brown grayish too. I do like cool tones. So that's another thing that attracted me to this palette. Uh, but I also wanted to try out the Nove palette, but it's okay. I don't need more palettes. Whatever that's new that catches my eye, then I'll get it. So I'm just kind of sticking my buy, kind of low buy, and not to go too crazy this year. But I know that's why I have to catch up to use all these palettes before by the end of this year. <laughs> so I have two Enslay Rain Cosmetics palettes that I have not used. So I do want to do a review on this one sometime hopefully this month i think there's another palette i do plan on using this month so i'll try to get a, a video of this one i'll try to do multiple eye looks so i do so for this month I'm not trying to do so many multiple eye look videos because today takes so much time like uh for me to do but because i want to enjoy doing eye looks like in my own time that's why so i mentioned that to you guys in uh, a in a different video but this is the flower moon palette and it's very greenish it's like really grungy but it has some purples too so i'm not sure how these shimmers look i need to test them out i mean i've seen them pictures but you know when it's in person they always look different based on photos sometimes or even videos so i can't wait to play with this one so i will do my best to get a video review video on this one and then i'll try to do a multiple eye look video for this one because i feel like it needs it like i really want to so i'll do my best to do a multiple eye look video if not then i'll just do one but the other palette I have not used yet is the Cosmic Dreamer palette. So this one I got last year. And yeah, I oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what happened right here. I think it keeps getting worse and worse or something. But yeah, it's like smudge right there. I don't think I swatched this one, but it looks like a nice neutral palette. But I have my I have a friend on Instagram, Midnight Blush. She kind of inspired me just to keep this palette because I love all the looks she has created. So I'm like, oh, maybe I'll keep this one after all. So I got this one last year because it was me getting into the brand. Like I was getting into it. Like I went a little crazy last year, but <laughs> yeah. So I need to use this one. So I'm not sure if I'll use this one this month, but yeah, I do plan on using the Flower Moon for this month. And I did order their Strawberry Moon palette. So I'll definitely do a review on that one too. So this one first and then uh, that one, whenever it comes in. 
And the next two palettes I have, they're from Nomad Cosmetics, I know. So I got these during Black Friday, so I'm not using these. So there were other palettes. I think I had two more palettes that I got from Black Friday, but I already used those. So those were the Fire and Ice and the Harajuku. Tokyo Harajuku Lovers? Oh my gosh. No, the Harajuku. The Har Tokyo Harajuku. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking about my handbag because I have a handbag from Harajuku Lovers. This is the Paradise Island and... I am so surprised I'm not used this. So the shimmers, they look, I mean, when I see them on the eyes on videos, they look really pretty, but they kind of look almost a little lackluster. This was released last year, but oh, I love the color story to this one. It looks like nice and wearable, but really fun. Like it's very, very beachy. Like you get such an assortment of colors, like even a red. And I, I just such a big fan of this whole era right here i was hoping to use this this summer i will that is the goal to use all these palettes and whatever else um that i have but the next palette i have is the haunted europe so this one you can't get anymore so the packaging they're always different from the box in the actual packaging but this is holographic so isn't it cool I love it. So I got this. Actually, I didn't get this on Black Friday. So my bad. I meant to. I got this actually before Black Friday. Yeah, I had to get this because I think I got this for 50% off. This was before Black Friday. So it was not available anymore by the time it got to Black Friday. But I love the color story to this. It's very, very grungy. And oh, the tones, they're kind of like muted. It's so pretty. So I can't wait to play with this one too. Next palette is from Salem Cosmetics and it's a cola palette with Smeek, Smeek Baronde. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name, but she's a makeup artist and she's so, so talented. I love her style. Her style is very distinguished. Like she has such a unique style and every time I see her eye looks, they're, they always wow me. So be sure to check her out. But this is the Forest Heart palette, cola palette with Smeek and Salem Cosmetics. And I have swatched this palette, not the whole thing, but I swatched some some mattes and especially the shimmers. I swatched this one, but I have not done an eye look. I know, I told her that I was gonna do, play with this palette, but I just never got around to it. But I really, really love the color story to this. I love the greens and the pop of pinks and some browns too, and this deep colors, the blue and the purple. I think this color story is so pretty. It's really pretty, so I can't wait to get to it. So this one, from what I swatch, it swatch really, really good. So I can't wait to play with it. Then um, I have a few more. Oh, I forgot this one. Oh, I forgot another Bella Beauty bar. Sorry, sorry. I could have mentioned this in the beginning, but I guess I kind of split it. But this is another Bella Beauty bar palette I have not used yet. So this is the Angles of Illumination 2. It's a all dual chrome palette. I believe it's all dual chromes. So it looks like this, and I have the, the the third one, and I love the third one so much. But this one, I have not. I don't think I've swatched this one, but it looks really pretty. Ah, uh, yeah, Bella Beauty Bar shimmers are really great. They're very shifty, buttery. Uh, I love their shimmers. So I have one more palette, and it's by Clarity Cosmetics, and this is the Bloom palette. So this is the only palette I have from the brand. I did have their Emo Mermaid palette. I mean, I still have it, but it's in a box. I ended up decluttering that one. So this one I kept because I'm not used it. I have swatched it, and the shimmers are really pretty. I just don't like the pants are so big. They're huge. Look at that. You guys could tell. Like, that's huge. But I do love the color story. It's really pretty. It reminds me of my picture on my wall. Just like with the Euphoric Dreams palette from Bella Beauty Bar, it kind of reminds me of my picture collage. But yeah, I kept this because I still want to give it a chance because I have not used it, even though I swatched it. I didn't keep the Evil Mermaid because I think the shimmers, they were okay. They were nice and wearable. They weren't like super shifty. They were sparkly, but the mattes, it was a matte I wasn't a big fan of. These mattes, I have to see if it looks better on the eyes. I feel like these mattes are better than the Evil Mermaid. The Evil Mermaid, it was just very light. That's why. So... I need to play around with this one and see if I could change my mind about the brand. But yeah, that's basically it from all the palettes I have. So you guys just seen the palettes that I plan on using for this month. It's the Dead Cosmetics CRs palette. I am definitely going to put this on top of my list to use. And then especially, especially the Flower Moon palette from Enslaved Rain Cosmetics. I'm going to use this one for this one especially. And mm, I was thinking... I was thinking of using this one too because Nomad Cosmetics are going to come up with the Halloween 
Inspire palette. I'm not sure what's the location yet, but this is oh, this was located from I where is it? Haunted Europe. Well, it's Haunted Europe. I, I'm sure it's a location, but yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one too. But let me know if there's any other palette like you guys can mention one that you would like to see me use for this month so if i use it then i'll share it on my instagram story or i might post it but most likely i'll just share it my story and you guys will see a palette ranking video later this month so you guys can see some updates of how i feel about palettes that i used this month too but i really hope you guys had fun watching me talk about the palettes that i have not used yet i know it's about i think 19 palettes if i count it right but you guys gotta let me know which palettes you guys have not used but plan on using next <laughs> i hope this palette inspires you guys so at least i'm picking out some palettes i'm trying to do a little bit better from here on out i've been kind of overwhelmed these past few months but yeah i really hope you guys had fun watching make sure to subscribe before leaving today because i'd love to have you guys here and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye guys.